yeah folks on the eve of me getting a new truck i have another truck another wheel seal going out if this week couldn't get any couldn't if you couldn't add any more crap to the pile of crap that's just been this week now this <laughs> That's another wheel cell. I'm waiting to hear back from the, from the, from them to see what they want me to do. I'm supposed to pick up a load, take it down to near Dallas tomorrow. I got plenty of time to get down there and get it fixed, and still get back up here and get slow and get down there. If we get somebody in there to do it, but we're gonna have we're gonna have to get on the stick. So we'll see what happens. I'll let y'all know. Well. This is saying goodbye to an old friend. I know it's a truck, but me and this truck have been through some, some battles together. As you can clearly see, it's been through a battle just in the last week or so. It's been a good truck, too. It's going to be a Sad to see it go. <clears throat> I'll miss this old truck. I'll tell you, it's not even that old. I just hope the new one is going to be as good as this one was, too. Go down to the shop. Today is Sunday. I gotta be down around Dallas tomorrow around lunchtime, 11:30 or so. I gotta go get this wheel seal worked on. See how it's? You can't really see it from there with the other pictures I showed you. Uh, clearly showed the wheel seal. This is the second one that's gone bad on the road. So, <clears throat> maybe I see why they trade these trucks in at around 300,000 miles. But apparently, that's the lifespan of the components on a lot of these trucks. Yeah, I'm sliding my, sliding my tan now because it makes it ride a little bit easier, a little bit smoother. I only got 27,000. Oh, sorry. Make sure there's a seal on this thing. This is what sits there, the seal. Yeah, there's a seal right there. You can kind of see the wall this thing has been in too, with me. All the way up through all the snow and ice. Yeah, this is my last trip with this truck. I, I'm a little bit, a little bit sad to be honest with you about it. I know it's just a truck, but, you know. Been through. When you've been, when you've been through as many wars as I've been in with this thing. When you've been through as many wars as I've been through with this thing, it's just a little bit, uh, a little bit sad. Honestly. I know, it's, but everything starts to break down on it. It's just, you know, it's just a matter of time for a lot of us to start to break down. So. We're heading to the shop. Talk to y'all a little bit later. Well, what up, y'all? We headed down here to the yard. 
Apparently they're gonna try to do a, a repair for this uh, wheel seal. All I gotta do is make it to Dallas and back. That's all I gotta do. You gotta get down there, unload in the, sometime in the morning, late, late tomorrow morning. And then they're gonna get me a load back up, and then I'll probably be swapping from this truck to the new truck. I'm assuming the new truck's at the yard, so I should see it here in a little while. When I get to the yard, if I see it, I'll take it, I'll show, show it, show it to you. It ain't gonna have no markings on it, of course, but, um, yeah, it's like I said, it's just sad. I've been, I started, I started with this company two years ago, and uh, I've been in this truck ever since, the whole time. I put just about, I, when I got in this truck, it had 14,000 miles on it, and I put every, I put every mile on it since. And the, with the exception of the five months that I was out last year, we would have we would have been doing this with this truck last year, probably early on last year, pro, pro, probably around the summertime or so. Probably would probably have been doing this around that time, you know, probably late summer last year, if I hadn't had the issues I had health wise. Um, apparently. Apparently these freight liners are only made, uh, the components are only good for 300,000 miles. That's why I hear all these fleets, they trade them in, they, they, get, they trade them in and out at about 300,000 miles. I hadn't had any problem with this truck. Uh, I had the wheel seal, I don't know, a month or two ago. But now, and, I, and, and when they was replacing it, and I documented it, when they was replacing it, I wondered how much longer before the other three go out. Well, it's literally the weekend of them trade getting rid of this one to, to get me into a new truck. So, a little ironic, I think. But I, uh, like I said, it's just a little, I'm feeling a little sad, you know. I, mean, I know it's just a truck, but you know, real truck drivers, they become attached to their, to them, you know. And you get to knowing every little, every little piece about it. You know, what it sounds like, you know, how it feels, you know, everything about it. And to, to go out of one into another one, you know, to, to, to leave this one, you know, with all the things I've gone through with this, you know, I would start here, going through, uh, working as hard as I did that first year, last year, working as hard as I did, and then going, finding out about my sister and the war I went through, getting back to her in this truck, and then going back out, you know, and then, then I'm, I'm in the truck, and then I find out about my, my back, and then I was in this truck when I found out, so I drove to the doctor in this truck. So it's, you know, it's just been been some emotional, personal times in this truck. So it's just like an old friend, even though I've only been in it for two years. You know, it's still, I've put it, I've put a lot of miles in this truck, and. Um, it's been good to me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna miss it. You know, um, the other the, the new truck is supposed to be just like this one. It's supposed to have a couple little extra things, but I, I, I still like this truck better. I think I think I'll always like this truck better. But anyway, I'll document some more when I get down to the yard. Show you all the new one. Hope, hopefully, it's, it's it's down there. I'll get to see it before they do anything to it but we'll uh we'll talk to y'all a little while see you.
road. I just took my last trip in this truck. A little bit premature. I thought I was gonna make it to Dallas. But this uh this wheel seal was too too far off. You can see how, how dirty it is. Been through been through a lot together, I can tell you that. Yeah, see that right there? See that right there? See all that see where all that grease is coming in between the wheels? That is not what you want. That is not what you want. See all that grease? That's, that's a wheel seal big time. When I pulled in here, this thing was smoking. That's how much that's how much it leaked out. It was already getting down to the wheel bearing. If I had gone too terribly much further, this thing would have locked up. Uh, I just thank the good Lord in heaven. Because last night, you know, when you think things are going bad, when you think things are going bad, God's, God's in control. I want y'all to know that. God's in control. If I had taken that load, if they had that load going back to Missouri last night, then I'd be up there having to deal with this. So he orchestrated all this and he kept his hand on me. The load got canceled. I was close enough that I could pick up my load and get down here to the shop and swap trucks. I'm gonna take another truck uh, somebody got out of recently. I'm gonna take it. I just grabbed a, I just grabbed a few bare essentials and uh, you know just just to do this trip. They put a bed in here for me, um, but like I said, it's just enough to to go do this trip and come back. They're supposed to have the new truck here when I come back. But this is the end of the road for me in this truck. Sad to see it, sad to see it in on like this. I just, it's what, what I expected. It's just sad. But I'd rather, I'd rather end like this here safe where they can do something about it than for the axle have snapped off. So I, I thank I thank my Lord in heaven for uh for always keeping his hand on me. And uh even though this may have on the out on looking from the outside in looked like it was a bad week. He was he was in control. He knew he was in control all along. <clears throat> so I thank him and I I praise him for that. So you have to take with the good with the bad. And this has definitely not been a, a week that just like a normal week where I make make, you know, like what I normally make, but I mean what could have been with this thing going bad, it ended up being all right. So they got a they got several stacks of tires. You can kind of see a little bit of oil in there. But um they got brand new tires. They got several pallets of brand spanking new tires that are like these. These are new. They put these on in October when I first came back. I love the sound these things make. And you can see, even with even with having a nail and the that tire over there, and having a nail and I think it was that tire, and then that, I had a nail in that tire over there the last week. So uh, even with all that, they they still look look in good shape that's what happens when you stay on top of your equipment so you still smell you can smell this oil you can smell the you can smell how hot it got so that is very very important folks i mean it's like i said before if you if you learn anything i don't care if five people watch this if you don't learn anything learn this keep an eye on this right here this right here will kill somebody i mean it will kill somebody quick. So keep an, always keep an eye on this. Whenever you get out of your truck, always look at your airlines, always look at your fifth wheel. See how that thing's pulled out? You don't want you want it to be all the way up against that, all the way up against that fifth wheel. And you always want to check your airlines whenever you get out of this truck. 
I hope y'all have a good week. Hope y'all have a good day, rest of the rest of your Sunday. I'll head down to Dallas here in a little while. We'll talk to y'all later. I'm kind of glad, but I'm sad at the same time. <laughs> this has been my, this has been my daggum, my horse right here for the last two years. But she's done a good job. She got me to and fro. Relatives see that there's some new tires they just put on here about a month or so ago. I'm sure they'll probably take them things off. You see how dirty it is in the front. It's been through it. It looks like last year when I came back from my sister when I was I went through that war getting back. It just about as if it was just all snow, just ice, ice and salt, snow and everything else, mud and everything else on there. Talk to y'all later. I wanted to say this too. I'm a huge lover of birds of prey. Eagles, hawks, owls, um, falcons, stuff like that, osprey. I'm a big time animal lover, period. Okay. I love big cats. I love tigers. I love mountain lions. I love how mountain lions are just so quiet, but yet so, I mean, God designed each, he designed each one of these animals, the tiger, the lion, the, the puma, the snow leopard, leopards, cheetah. You look, you look at how a cheetah runs. That's God designed that. That's nothing but God designed. I don't care what anybody says. I just, God designed that. Just like he designed us. And I'm fascinated by big by big cats uh, and birds of prey. I just I just love them. I, I, I wished I wished I had I wished I had I wish there was some way I could work with if I could if I could get into falconry and make a living at it I'd do that I'd do that in a heartbeat I really would I really would like to get into photography to be honest with you um, I'm probably going to use what I made going forward to purchase what I need to do to, to get into photography. I just I just love I love animals. Um, I love nature. I love God's creation. But I've always loved eagles. And his verses in the Bible one of the main one of the big one of the big Titan well, the big Titan verses in the Bible, which you could call, it's in Isaiah, and it's talking about uh, wings like eagles. Well, I live near an Air Force base, and one of the, there's a fighter jet that's there. It's called the F-15 Eagle. They've got these big hangars down there. Eagle country on on every one of the hangars where they where they house them, they work on them, that type of thing. <coughs> uh, but I've always been fascinated with it. My, the golden eagle is my favorite. Um, the bald eagle, I love the bald eagle because it's it's this country's symbol. But I, I love I just love eagles. Well, I was up in Iowa the other day. And 
th- there was three. It's like I've been I've been I've been wondering. I even I even asked God. I'm like God, is, uh, are you fishing? Are you fishing to do something? So, are you about to take me home? You know, and if so, I want to be ready. But uh, I was driving the other day. I was on the phone with somebody. I wish I wish to the high heavens I could have got a picture of this. But you know, all I can do is tell you from what my memory. I ran to the curve. I was going a little bit downhill, and I ran to the curve, and there was some kind of a dead animal on the side of the road, but on top of it, it was right there on the side of the road. And there was this bald eagle, full-grown bald eagle, standing right on top of it in Iowa. And I immediately, I immediately recognized it. I mean, he was right there, right as I ran to the curve. There it was, bam. And I, I screamed out. Man, I mean, I, I said, "There's a bald eagle!" Oh my goodness! I started, I started getting all excited. And uh, you know, just oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I had somebody walk up. But uh, what I was saying is, uh, when I rounded that curve, you could clearly see this bald eagle standing on top of this animal. I don't know if it was a a coyote or a small cow or what it I don't know what it was it was something I mean literally right on the side of the road a little two lane road and I just started I was all excited I was like oh that's a bald eagle that's a bald eagle and I started I was like yelling because I was excited you know that's the first time I ever seen one in the wild like that I've, I've seen a couple of eagles I saw a golden eagle in Wyoming coming across the median one time. That thing is huge. Some things are humongous. But um, you could clearly see the bald head on that eagle. You, it's, it's unmistakable what it was. And I'm like staring at it and I'm slowing down because I wanted to see it. And that thing turned his head and looked at me and then he I don't know if you've ever seen an eagle. They, they kind of they like scrunch up and they leap and then they they spread their wings it was it was just it was amazing it was it was it was fantastic i mean it was just spectacular this thing spread its wings huge just humongous and he and it, as i was driving by he spread those wings and just and he started taking off and i was buying by that point and i was just first time i ever seen that in my whole life I've seen an eagle. There's a place near near where I live. They've got a bunch of. They've got a, a mountain lion. They got an eagle. They got a bear. And they've got. But they got them all in cages, which I I don't. I hate. I I, I think that's wrong. And I'm not no PETA guy. No, but my, my, no, my, I'm not one of these PETA people. I'm all for, you know, I think God put deer and antelope and all these other different animals. He put he put them there for us to consume it says it in the bible you know but i still love animals i love animals uh you know i know they got feelings and i know they've got emotions just like we do you know uh, but uh anyway but i saw i saw this this bird take off and then a little while later, I was driving. It was probably another about 10 minutes later. I had never seen a pheasant in my whole life. I've, I've seen them on TV, but I've never actually seen one. And then a few minutes later, I, was, I saw this pheasant fly across in front of me. I, first time I ever seen one. And, it, and then it was flying on top of that. And about another five or 10 minutes later, these two deer come prancing across this field and ran right in front of me. Now I wasn't I wasn't fit to hit him. I saw him at plenty of time, but it was just the fact that I saw these deer running in their natural habitat. I mean, it was just beautiful, you know. Then the next morning, I'm parked and I see four or five deer. They just sat there in front of me and they just kind of stand there, and all of a sudden they just kind of run off into the woods again. So it was just it was neat to see that the eagle. Seeing that eagle was just amazing. And, um, I mean, 
mean, it, it was it was one of them moments that you'll never forget. You know, and uh, I mean, I, I saw a golden eagle in Wyoming last year, and it was flying. His wings spread. His right foot right across the ground, coming across the media. And at first, I saw. I thought it was like a buzzard or something. Or a vulture or something like that, but when I saw it, how big it was, I said, "That's an eagle. That's a golden eagle there." I love golden eagles because they 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 hunt like rabbits and deer and I mean them things. Them things are bad, man. Them things are bald eagles go after fish. And they'll go after land animals too, but they, they mainly go after fish. But golden eagles, I mean, I, I just, they're big. They're actually bigger than a bald eagle. But it's just it's just how majestic them things are. Hawks and how that how God has designed a peregrine falcon, how they, how it's got the wings shaped in a certain way and how they can power dive. Hawks, how they every every different species of them birds are probably owls, how they got the big eyes they can see at night. Big cats, you look at how a cheetah is look at how they're designed and how they run their spine and coils it like a spring. And they can, it's, it's, they, that's why they run so fast. They're the fastest land animal in the world. They're just a natural running machine. I mean, you look at a tiger. They're built differently. A lion, they're built differently. A leopard, they're built differently. They can kill a deer and climb up a tree with it and put that deer in that tree. A lion can't do that. A tiger can't do that. Of course, tigers and lions don't live in the same environment. It's just, it's just, it's just, it, that all that stuff amazes me. So I, I, I thank good Lord that I got to see that this week, too. Even with the bad week, I, I still got to see my preach. Our preacher this morning preached on this verse right here. Be still, it's in song. Be still and know that I am God. I believe I saw that I saw God's creation in that ten minute ten minutes of road that I was on this, this past week. Seeing that eagle, seeing that pheasant, and seeing those deer. I mean as chaotic as this week was, it was like God was trying to remind me I'm still right here. So anyway, y'all y'all have a good day. And uh, before I get to spouting off too much, talk to y'all later. I'll be heading down to Dallas here in a little while. It's about four hours down there. Probably be about uh, probably low somewhere in that area. Come back up here. They don't have they don't have the new truck here yet. They said they were supposed to old it was supposed to have bought it Friday. But apparently they're supposed to buy it tomorrow have it here tomorrow and have it ready to go by Wednesday is what they just told me. It's probably going to be Wednesday, probably Wednesday or Thursday before I actually get going because I got to move all my stuff out of that other truck which is a lot of stuff. If you if, if you drive over the road like any amount of time at all you know exactly what I'm talking about. It, it, it takes a it, I don't have everything I own in the truck. I don't live in the truck. I mean, essentially, I kind of sort of do, but I don't live in it. I have a home back in Georgia, okay? And I've got stuff there. You know, I have my stuff that's on the road here, okay? 
but um, I've got a lot of stuff in that truck. You know, got, you know, especially this time of the year, you you don't want to be, you know, without like warm clothes. You don't want to be without food. You don't want to be without a lot of stuff. In the summertime, you can you can pack a little bit lighter. You don't have to have as much because it's it's just you know hot. You just need water and stuff like that. But if you break down somewhere in we in Wyoming or Montana or South Dakota or something like that in the middle of winter, well, that could be that could be life threatening. So I pack heavier. So I got to move all that stuff from my old truck to the new truck. He just told me. It's pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same truck. The only difference is they've got a, I call it a blackout kit. The wheels are painted black. I think it's got an airbag on the front axle, which will help it ride a little bit smoother. Um, there's a couple little, little knickknacks on the inside, you know, supposed to, for driver, for driver comfort, you know, you know, that, that's I don't I don't really need a swivel seat. Yeah. But um uh, you know, as long as it drives good, as long as I got plenty of room to do what I gotta do in, I'm I'm fine. I'm not I'm not super picky. I've driven I've driven in old older a lot of older trucks that were in way worse shape. Didn't have nowhere near the room. It drove way worse. And that's just what I had to drive. And I was back when I first started driving. Um, you know, I don't demand. I don't. I don't demand a lot. You know, I just need something that's dependable, and I don't have to. I don't have to worry a whole lot about. You know, so that's what that truck has been. And no, I don't have no nickname for it or anything. Like that. I've never done. I've never done that. You know. I've, I've driven these big, these big large car trucks before. Never had no, never had a nickname for none of them either. Yeah. If people want to have a nickname for it, then that's great. That's just, that's just not me. Um, teach their own. You know. <coughs> but uh, they're supposed to have it here. They're supposed to buy it tomorrow. I think they're supposed to deliver it tomorrow. And then they're supposed to. Uh, they got they got to put insurance on it, and they got to do all this paperwork, got all do all that stuff. So it'll be, and they got to sticker it. They got to change out some tires on it, cause, like I said, they got those pallets, of brand new tire, or dry tire. So I think the tires it comes with are not what they want. So they put they got these new tires that they gonna put on there, and um, they got these cap look at things on the front on the front axle I'm gonna see if they can just take the things off because they, they keep saying that everybody falls off and I'm gonna get the same spike looking um, lug nut covers that I have on my on my truck now the chrome ones and I'm gonna get they make some that look just like that so they're like a flat black and I'm gonna put those on there that's uh man. but uh I'm gonna put those on there and uh, see if I can find me a hubcap centerpiece that goes over see if I can find one of those in black also <coughs> that'll match the black wheel but it's supposed to be set up just like my old truck it's supposed to run just like it so I hope so uh, breaking in a new truck just I don't think I've ever had a brand spanking new truck from brand new over the road. I've, I've driven a brand new truck before, but it was when I was driving that cryogenic company and it was, I was home every day. So I, that, I don't really consider that the same. Um, it's first time, I've, this will be the first time I've ever had a, 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 a new over the road truck. The one I just came out of, when I got into it, when I came here two years ago, we had 14,000 miles on it. Me, that's new. I mean, that's that's new. Uh, but this one won't have any. This one won't have any miles on. 
with the exception of driving, you know, delivering it here or whatever. But uh, it's just been one of them type of weeks. I find it very ironic that today is a very beautiful day. Hardly a cloud in the sky. And it's like I said before, I've had, it had, this week has not gone the way I would, I would have orchestrated it. But God, God knew what was, he knew what was going on. He was in control. And those loads being canceled last night, you know, that, that was the difference. Because I could have, I could have been going back up here last night and I could have had a catastrophic fail. And, and, you know, like I said, when they changed that, that cord the other day, it was not doing this. And it, it went from, it went from uh, nothing to something real fast. That's why I say, always check that. If, you, if nobody gets anything else, I don't care if one person watches this. If anybody gets anything from what anything I say, and I'm no authority, I'm no know-it-all. I'm just a I'm just a, a guy that's been out here driving for 20 plus years. That's all I am. There ain't nothing there ain't nothing special about me. I'm not a know-it-all. I'm I, I'm just a, I'm a driver just like anybody else. I just been doing it a lot longer. That's all. That's all it is. But if you get anything. If you get anything from what I've been trying to preach, always look at that wheel seal. Always. Because you never know when that thing can go bad, ever. Like I said, it was fine the other day. We changed out that, that we changed out that, that core the other day and those air hoses. And and the mechanic mechanic was right there looking at I was looking at it. Not a problem. And it went, we're talking just a day. It went from that to almost a catastrophic fail that fast. I just, you know, I just thank the good Lord that that, that load canceled last night. You know, so. Anyway, uh, I'm probably gonna end it here. I've got enough that I can probably be running my mouth again. But uh, I'll get some more driving footage. Uh, I hadn't done a whole lot of driving this past week. I've done a little bit here and there. But um, like I said, just keep an eye on, on, when you get out of your truck, make sure you look at your fifth wheel. I don't care if you walk, if you walk 10 feet, if you turn your back to your truck, check your, when you walk back, look at your fifth wheel, look at your airline. And, and when you're, whenever you get out of your truck, like if you're unloading or you're or you're loading, if you're at your um, home office, if you're bobbed out, whatever, anytime you get out of that truck and you've got a little bit of time, just walk around it and look in between, look look down the inside part. You, you can look at the inside part of your trailer tires and if, if there's any grease at all. Even if it's a drip, then that's that's when you need to you need to address that. Then look at your inside if you drive to, of your truck tires. If you see any grease at all, that's a wheel seal. That is nothing to be playing with. That that will kill somebody. That guy in Ohio, like I said a couple weeks ago, he was sitting on the side of the road. Somebody had the exact same thing happen. That thing snapped off on somebody was going the other way. It snapped off, bounced over the wall. We're talking the whole set now. And that thing bounced up high enough that it hit the top of his truck. Now he's just sitting on the side of the road doing whatever, but it just snapped, it bounced up high enough. You figure 12, 13 feet in the air. And it came, it hit, it hit the top of that truck and it, it ripped the top of that truck off. It killed, killed that guy instantly. Imagine if it was, like I told you said before, Imagine being in a car or a, or a motorcycle or whatever right beside that, and that happens. Okay. Well, y'all have a good Sunday. Uh, I'm going to end this here. Um, y'all stay blessed. 
stay safe. Uh, I think, like I said, I just want to take this opportunity again to thank my Lord. Because he kept, he kept his hand on me last time. He's got his hand on me every day. But I, I've been upset all week about how I wasn't making any miles. I was upset and I was angry and just all been out of shape. just like any other truck driver. And today, it just like it, it was like he just shined a neon shot, neon light right in my face and said, "Here you go, Brian. This is why. This is why things happen. This, this is why these things happen this week. It's a test, and I failed the test just like I always do. So I, I think I thank him. I think I thank him for." For always keeping his hand on me and uh, I just try to be a better example I try to I don't do a very good job at it but um, just try to be a better I, I try to do better each day so, y'all have a good day and uh, talk to y'all later